hello welcome to xfinity today i will show you how to increase rendering speed in adobe after effects 2021 first of all we will see what are the best hardware configurations you should use to render faster in after effects secondly we will change some after effects project settings to make after effects run and render faster like never before so let's get started all right fellas so this video is going to be very very important regarding uh, some settings about uh, after effects and uh, the basic information about ram gpu ssd and all the hardware configuration resides inside this video and you need to make sure to watch this video till the end so that you do not miss anything that is very very important all right so let's get start all right fellas so first of all the minimum ram that is required to make your after effects very smooth is 16 gigabytes 16 gb ram is required to make your after effects smoother if uh, if you don't have a uh, too much budget all right if you have a too much budget and you can uh, uh, you can support such kind of ram uh, to make your after effects much faster then i recommend to use 64 gb of ram all right and if you are not bounded to your budget you can uh, invest any amount uh, in building your pc then i highly recommend to go up to 128 gb of ram then you will see a significant increase in your after effects performance all right so the minimum ram required is 16 gb you need at least 16 gb to make your after effects run smoother and if you want to make your after effects even more faster or uh, to run more uh, to run more smoother you need at least 64 gb of ram all right so the next we need to talk about the graphic processing unit so the reality of a gpu is the after effects does not use gpu except in some plugins or effects like uh, the gpu will be used in element 3d which is the uh, the whole different scenario in after effects that is used to make the 3d rendering and 3d graphics uh, this is the place such that 3d element in After Effects where your graphic card will be used to render each and everything all right else if you are working with graphics if you are working with motion graphics if you are working with the effects or the plugins then your GPU will not be used so it is not wise uh, to invest in your GPU or to buy a very high-end GPU especially for uh, using After Effects all right for example, if you have a GTX 1660 Ti and the other person has RTX series, RTX 3090 Ti, 390 Ti and still you will see there will be no difference in performance in After Effects. Why? Because After Effects does not use or is not dependent on GPU. It is dependent on GPU but under specific uh, circumstances, alright? Uh, the first one is Element 3D and uh, the second one is Mocha and some, some other plugins or uh, uh, you know uh, different uh, uh, scripts are there uh, which uses uh, the GPU. So, Alright, so the first thing you need to make sure do not invest in your GPU if you are making uh, your PC intentionally for After Effects. Alright. The third and the most important thing for uh, making your After Effects run smoother and to increase the rendering speed in After Effects is a CPU, Central Processing Unit. And I highly recommend to use Intel processors without any, without any thinking about it, alright? You need to use Intel processors as compared to AMD processors. Why Intel processor is synchronized or compatible with the Adobe Creative Apps like uh, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. All these creative apps are solely made for Intel processors, alright? So you need to make sure if you want to build your PC uh, to make your After Effects run faster and smoother, you need to make sure you stick with the 
intel processors all right and now let us talk about the uh, generations for the processors i recommend to use processors of uh, i5 series with the generation of at least fifth generation and you can go up to the extend and it all depends upon your budget the minimum should be core i5 fifth generation and the maximum can be core i5 10th generation core i7 10th generation uh, core i7 fifth generation or core i9 all right so the minimum cpu you need is core i5 fifth generation all right the next and the fourth thing that i need to discuss is uh, uh, your memory such that uh, your storage device which i recommend to use is solid state drive ssd and i recommend to use nvme m.2 uh, ssd which is very very helpful to make your computer and your after effects run very very fast you you won't believe uh, if you use ssd m2 nvme then you will see a significant increase in your after effects performance all right just to make sure to install your after effects in the right directory such that in the ssd all right all right so these are the hardware configurations that i discussed that you need to make your after effects run faster and to increase the rendering speed like never before and now we will dive straight into the after effects to do some settings that will significantly increase your after effects performance all right so let's dive straight into the after effects all right fellas so i'm right inside my after effects and i have successfully opened my demo project as a demonstration all right so the first thing you need to do is uh, you need to go to edit and after that you need to navigate to purge and select all memory and disk cache all right and as you can see i have uh, 317 mb uh, trash in my disk or uh, uh, cache that i don't need and it is using my space all right so i will click on ok to remove all these disk cache and that's it the next and the very important thing is uh, the reduce project option in after effects in the uh, i can say it is seen in the latest versions of the after effects such that 2017 to 2021 you can see it in your projects that i'm going to show you shortly what uh, reduce project does it uh, reduces the amount of uh, resources that is not required in your project for example these are some uh, compositions that is necessary for my project and uh, it also includes some uh, compositions or uh, effects or something some other things that is not required for my projects you can say some additional files so we don't need the additional files while we are rendering the final output all right so the reduce project is the best option to use if you don't want to use the additional resources to render your project all right so what you need to do you need to uh, click on the final composition that is going to render your uh, you know composition and go to file and then go to dependencies and then click on reduce project and now you can see uh, there are seven items that is not used in my project and it will be deleted and uh, as you can see the seven files in my project is not used and they are additional resources so that's why i will remove all the additional resources and increase the speed of my after effects all right so i will click on ok and you are done the next thing you need to do you need to go to file and uh, after that you need to go to project settings and uh, under video rendering and effects you need to make sure uh, to use your mercury gpu acceleration cuda all right it is very important because if you are working with element 3d or mocha which is uh, going to use your uh, uh, graphics card for rendering purposes then it is very best option to select all right or if you are still working with your graphics or uh, motion graphics you can still use cuda it is going to significantly add some importance of gpu usage in your uh, project all right 
so i will you need to click on this mercury uh, gpu acceleration cuda and you need to click ok the next thing you need to go to edit and then you need to navigate to preferences and uh, here you need to navigate to memory and as i said you need at least 16 gb of ram if you are tired on budget and if you are not tight on your budget you can uh, support such kind of ram such as 64 gb i highly recommend to use 64 gb of ram and once you have installed your memory you need to uh, click on this and drag it to the left why because we need to reserve the ram for after effects as as maximum as possible all right if you uh, uh, drag it to the right side it means that the After Effects will use only 1 GB of RAM out of 16 GB and if you drag it to the left side to the most left it means that the RAM available for the After Effects will be 13 GB and 3 GB RAM will be reserved for other applications so that's very important settings that you need to do and after that you need to click on OK the next thing that I'm going to discuss is very very important if you are going to uh, make very detailed motion graphics alright so for that you need to go to file and go to project settings and then you need to navigate to colors and now you need, you need to understand the depth here uh, it contains three options 8 bits 16 bits and 32 bits all right if you're working with normal projects that does not require too much details to be seen you can go with 8 bits all right but if you uh, want to show some details and depth of your motion graphics you can go with 16 bits but if you want the maximum performance of your quality and the depth of your pixels then you need to go for 32 bits Per channel so make sure you select uh, the right bit according to your projects all right let me show you some demonstration for that purpose all right fellas so as you can see I have made a, a stroke of a circle and I have added a red color and uh, I have also added a glow effect uh, into my stroke and now I will change my bits per channel and you will see a significant change in the glow effect all right so currently it is 16 bits per channel and uh, I will navigate to 8 bits per channel the, there is no so much difference in 8 and 16 but once I convert into 32 bits per channel you will see a significant change in the glow effect as you can see the glow effect is too much detailed and uh, there is an extra glow in the uh, stroke of the circle all right so let me change its color let me select this layer and uh, change it to something like uh, blue that we can see easily and as you can see the glow effect is too much detailed and uh, its size is too uh, too large and once i convert it to 16 bits per channel the effect is somehow uh, lowered or uh, limited all right so uh, the basic purpose of this is uh, you can select bits per channel according to your projects if you are working with per, if you are working with the projects that requires too much details and it is too much detail oriented you can go with 32 bits per channel if your project does not require too much details uh, you can go with the 8 bits per channel or 16 bits per channel but i recommend to use 8 bits per channel if you don't uh, need too much details like these effects glow effects and uh, uh, to see some kind of details of the glow but if you need too much details i must recommend to use 32 bits and for that you need at least 64 gb of ram and it is better to have higher amount of ram as far as possible all right so that's it i hope you like this video if you like this video hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, in my next video i will show you how to increase the rendering speed in after effects at all media encoder and uh, similar videos like this so make sure to subscribe right now and uh, you can also watch uh, after effects not using gpu to render what are the settings what are the basic requirements to make it usable uh, you can watch this video it is very helpful for you um, and you can also watch some basic settings to increase the rendering speed in After Effects with some secret settings that I have shown in my 
videos that you can see on the screen you must watch these videos if you have any problem you can comment down below or follow me on the instagram i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible so thank you so much again for watching this video have a nice day